Hello and welcome to this week's Cloud Bytes TV episode. I'm going to start a new series this week on identity and access management. Um, we're loosely going to follow the, the identity and access management designer framework for the um, certification. So if you are studying for that certificate, this will be a great resource for you, hopefully. Um, but as I said, we're going to cover that loosely. We're hoping to show a few demos and go into things in detail. But before we can do that, before we can start seeing how things work um, on the screen, we've got to do a little bit of groundwork. So the first couple of episodes are going to be groundwork, and then we're going to start going in and seeing how we do some of the user provisioning within Salesforce in some live demos that hopefully you can use yourself. So the first thing we're going to cover this week is authentication and authorization. What's the difference? This is one of the most fundamental things, and for me, really, the most important thing for you to kind of get uh, get a bit of a groundwork on before you start diving in. So what do we mean by these two words? Often they get um, confused. You know, we see things like auth written, but is that authentication or is that author authorization? So authentication is pretty much whenever you're looking at who someone is. And so say we're a user and we're visiting uh, Salesforce and we want to log in as a particular user. So whenever I visit my CRM instance, um, I want to view my records, I want to log in as me and access my identity. Well, to do that, I have to enter a username and password. And so authentication is very much focused on identifying who you are, authenticating that you are who you say you are. Okay, so that's one key thing. So when we talk about authentication providers, we're talking about sites that provide you an identity and will let you know who you are. Now, Authorization, on the other hand, that's pretty much focused around what you can see. So when we look at a database, we're going to focus on what permissions we have to view things on the database. But we can also have a look at things such as um, being authorized for what we have permissions to edit and what we have permissions to change and modify. So I say edit here because I mean editing a record. It could also be modification when we look at uh, modifying and updating as in terms of changing the layout, um, adding new custom fields, for example, okay? So authorization is very much someone saying what you can and can't see and do on authentication, very much focused upon who we are. So at a high level, again, authentication, think of an identity, think of who you are, and think really a username and password. Any situation where you might have to pass along a username and password to say who you are, is when you're talking about authentication and authorization on the other hand is far more focused on saying what you can do and what your profile is really what you can see what you can change what you can edit so when we look about the uh, think about this in a salesforce world authentication username password user record and identity authorization profile permissions things like that so this is a very brief, quick episode um, just to cover off authentication and authorization to get us started. Next week, we're going to do another quick overview topic. We're going to look at identity providers and service providers. What's the difference when, one, uh, when we use one and when we use the other and how they interplay. Hope you found this information useful. If you've liked it, please give us a like. If you want to keep up to date with all the information, you can follow us on Twitter at CloudBytes TV. Or you can hit that subscribe button and you'll get all of the new content posted straight onto your YouTube feed. Okay, thank you, and I'll speak to you soon.